Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and for this video, it has been such a long time by the way but for this video, um, I'll be discussing if AR can really generate crochet patterns Okay guys, so just before we get started, um, I just wanted to greatly apologize for being um, <clears throat> absent from the channel for some time. Um, college has been really, it, it has just been so hectic with college. Um, my last week of college was not so great, um, it was very stressful, very overwhelming. And um, my mother had an accident um, the second week before we finished college. Um, she was trying to change the lights and um, the ladder um, fell from underneath her. The, the ladder wasn't stable and the ladder fell from underneath her and then she fell on top of the ladder and she shattered her knee. Um, so she was in hospital for about a week from Thursday the 22nd of June, I think, if I'm not mistaken, she was in hospital for. She only came out last Wednesday. So the week later she came out. Um, I can't remember which day she came out. Um, but yeah, they've had to put a plate in her knee. And um, she's had stitches and everything. Um, she had nine stitches in her knee. So yeah, it was, it's been really, really hectic. My last week of college was not so great because I was very stressed and worried about mom and college and I was driving up and down to the hospital every night. So I'd go and see my mom from the first time she went into the hospital. Um, I would go and see her. And then my mom has been out of hospital for a week now. And um, it's been very tiring. Um, uh, this week that I'm recording, that I'm doing this video, is the first week that I've been off. And, um, it has been very, very tiring. I was already, um, so, uh, what would you call it? Um, so tired, so exhausted, so drained, um, from college and all of the assignments. And then I had to look after my mum. Um, she couldn't do everything by herself. I had to... Um, dresser, I had to help her bath, um, I had to uh, cook cook food, I had to wash dishes. Um, so there was a lot that I needed to do and for the whole first week um, I had slept with my mum in the same bed just to make sure that, that my mum was okay and if she needed help with anything I was there and the first I think two or three nights I was helping her get up and go to the bathroom and then get her to get back into bed and all of that. So I had reckless nights this whole week. Um, but anyways, I am back to finally do a video. Um, I know it's been really long since I did like a full tutorial. Um, I think the last time I did, did a tutorial was um, a month ago. If I'm not mistaken, it was my Starry Night Shawl. Um, which was, yeah, very long time ago. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do a tutorial soon. I am willing to crochet a Minecraft bee, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, I still need to design the pattern and all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I am really, really super excited. Um, but yeah, so anyway, enough baffling on. Um, but yeah, it has been really stressful though. <laughs> um, but anyway, so again, so sorry for being so absent. There's just so much had just been going on in my life, you know, with my mom and my brother had, had also moved out last week, Friday. So it's not been easy, um, looking after my mom myself. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, let's, let's get on with this video. Um, so anyway, um, 
So chat GTP has come out, um, this AR generated chat has come out and um, I will be putting chat GTP to the test to see if chat GTP really knows how to write crochet patterns or how to produce crochet patterns per se. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because uh, <laughs> technology is crazy, eh? isn't it? With chat GTP, it's just insane. Um, but yeah, so we'll be testing, um, if ChatGTP can really crochet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have done some experimenting already. So, um, I asked ChatGTP to generate a pattern for a flower, and this is what it gave me, which is like really, really cute little flower, but in my opinion, I think this is a motif. In my opinion, it does kind of look like a flower, but... I don't know, but yeah, it's quite pretty. Um, so yeah, that's that, the little flower. And then I asked, um, I asked ChatGTP to generate a pattern for a crochet motif. And this is what it gave me. Like, what is this? This is not even a motif. Like, look at that. It could be like, maybe like a little doll's hat. I think maybe like a little doll's hat i don't know could be like maybe like a little little mini pot protector or something i don't know like if you have like a little um pot plants of like um succulents or something then maybe i don't know but yeah um it's quite cute otherwise i guess um i don't know what this is this is supposed to be a motif but what is this <laughs> Could it be like some sort of basket for something? Something small? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be whipping up some more samples just to do um, on camera, just to see how, how AR is and things like that. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm ready to start crocheting a flower. So now I'm just going to put it into um, chat GTP. Um, can you give me a pattern for a flower? Can you give me a crochet pattern? a crochet pattern for a flower okay so let's see what it's busy generating um i am re recording my screen this pattern that it has generated well it's actually still busy generating the pattern okay so i'm just gonna grab some variegated yarn because i think variegated yarn is quite nice to work with so let's go with that <clears throat> so i'm just using um just DK weight yarn, um, acrylic DK weight yarn, and this color is Bahama Blue, in case you're interested. It's actually very pretty blue, isn't it? Okay, so we have to start by making a magic ring, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap my yarn around my fingers twice, and then three times. Okay, so... Start by making a magic ring. So we need to do six single crochets into the magic ring. I have yarn bar. Look at that. Look at that horrible thing. Yarn bar. <clears throat> okay so now that i've got my yarn bar out let's actually really get started with this now okay so <clears throat> i'm just gonna scroll down to the instructions okay so it says um start by making a magic ring okay 
and then we're gonna work six single crochets into the magic ring okay so that's one two three four five and six okay i'm gonna join with the slip stitch so let me close my magic ring I don't think this, this pattern is beginner friendly because um, it doesn't even say, uh, it doesn't even give the option to make the uh, magic ring. Sorry, it doesn't give an option to chain. It only has the option to, um, it only has the option to do the magic ring. So I don't think this is a very beginner friendly pattern. Like it literally just says, stop by making a magic ring. What if you don't know how to make a magic ring? <laughs> Um, okay, so I need a slip stitch to the beginning. Okay, so there we go. And we're going to chain one, work two single crochets into the same, into the same stitch. And work two single crochets into the next stitch, repeat from star around. Okay, so we're going to um, slip stitch. I'm not trying to slip stitch, we're going to single crochet uh, two stitches in every stitch around. So our increase should have got up from 6 to 12 for this round um, of the flower. Okay, there's a lot of repeats in this pattern by the looks of it. Okay, yeah, so one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. So we have all the stitches and then we slip stitch to the beginning and then chain one. Work one single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat from star around. Yeah, so we are basically just doing increases as we normally would if we were um, like making some sort of amigurumi. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Um, starting off a little bit weird. <laughs> um, and it seems like we, we, we increase like this. We increase like this for seven rounds, which is a little bit odd. Okay, so we're on round three, chain one, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch. I don't think this is going to be a flower, to be honest with you. And I did put in here flower. Yeah, crochet pattern for a flower. So this is, this is very weird. Okay, well, let's just continue and let's see um, how this comes out. Okay. And then we slip stitch to the beginning. And we should have 18 stitches. I don't know how this is, this is a flower, to be honest with you, but anyway. Um, and then round four, one, two, three, yeah, round four, work one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then two single crochets in the following stitch, repeat from star to star. <laughs> this is definitely not a flower. I don't know what they think this is, but this is not a flower. How on earth is this a flower?
I literally have no idea how this is a flower. Yeah, but anyway, um... This is not a flower at all. The patterns are literally, the pattern is literally just like, like this. For every round, the pattern is just like this, how, how, how you'd normally increase. Um, so I'm on one, two, three, four. So the next round says chain one. Work one single crochet in the next three stitches, then two single crochets in the following. And then repeat from star to star. And then round six, chain one, work one single crochet into the next four stitches, two single crochet in the following stitch, repeat from star around. Join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet. It literally says nothing. And then after that, it says at this point, you can fasten off if you want a, if you want a small flower. If you want a large flower, continue with the following rounds. Round seven, chain one, work one single crochet in the next five stitches, two single crochet in the following stitch, repeat from star to star around. This is not a flower. Okay, well, I'm not going to continue. I think I'm just going to stop here. And then I'm just going to ask ChatGTP to regenerate. To regenerate um, another flower because what is this? This is not a flower. But anyway, we'll put that to one side. And let's regenerate the response. Okay, so I'm regenerating the response. Um, okay, so there we go. It has regenerated. Um, hey, this time, this time it is explaining to me how to do the magic ring. Okay, so let's see. So it says step one, make the magic ring. So it says make a magic ring by, 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 by forming a loop with the yarn and inserting your hook through the center of the loop and pull the yarn through the loop to create a slip knot. This will serve as the starting point of your flower. So it says make a loop. Okay. So like there's my loop. But they, they don't specify how to properly make the slip knot. Like if you just make a loop like that, you wouldn't know how to Okay, whatever. Let's move on. Okay, so let's make our slip knot. Um, okay, so let's make our slip knot. Petals, round one. Chain one to secure the magic ring. And then six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Okay, so I've chained six. Work into the magic ring, chain two. Work six single crochets into the magic ring, chain two. From star to star, it's repeat from star to star a total of five times. Slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. What? It first says work six single crochets into the magic ring. And then chain two, repeat from star to star, total of five times, slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. You should have six petals with two spaces between them. With two, with chain two spaces between them. Okay, so they didn't give the instructions clearly. Um, so it seems as though, just snip this off here, it seems as though, um, we are meant to 
do six single crochets into the magic ring but with a chain two in between each single crochet so we'll do one single crochet chain two 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 one single crochet how many single crochets did i do now one two three four five so i need one more chain two and then single crochet okay so that's kind of looking like something don't know what but anyway Okay, so this will serve as a starting point for, no, not that. So slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. You should have six petals with two chain two spaces in between. Okay, I'm just going to chain two. You should have a total of six petals. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to chain two again and then slip stitch to the beginning one to form our sixth petal. Okay. Finishing. Is that this is all the little flower is? It looks like a little snowflake. Okay, so this is literally our flower. This is literally our little flower. That is literally the pattern. That is literally what it says. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly sew my tail ends in. I think we should do another flower because the first flower was unsuccessful. And then the second flower, we're like, well, we've got somewhat a little flower, but I mean, I thought there'd be a little bit more layers, you know. It's very weird, but it's a cute little thing, I should say. It's, it is quite sweet. Okay, I think that's sewn in enough. Yeah, so there is our little little flower it says that we can sew like a little button or bead to the center to make our little flower okay so that is our second attempt attempt first and second okay so let's try this again um yeah so i'm gonna regenerate So I'm going to ask it to regenerate the response. Okay, so while that is generating, I think I'm going to grab some pink variegated yarn. And let's change the color to pink this time. Okay, so let's see what it says here now. Okay, so begin with the magic ring. And now this time they don't explain how to do the magic ring. <laughs> but even the, the last time they didn't really properly explain it either. So what am I doing? I'm literally just chaining. <laughs> um, okay, so I've done my magic ring. Okay, and then do 10 single crochets into the magic ring. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so pull the tail to tighten the ring okay so just pull in my tail and then let's close the ring Yeah, 
and then and then slip stitch to the beginning to join okay so chain three so we're going to chain three for the next round skip one stitch slip stitch in the next okay so this is where it's coming out of so here Did it say slip stitch? Yeah, slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch, chain three, skip one, slip stitch in the next, chain three, chain three, skip one stitch and then slip stitch in the next, chain three, skip one and then slip stitch in the next. And then chain three and then slip stitch to the beginning stitch okay so we should have five chain three spaces which we do have hey that kind of looks like a little bit of a little bit of a something there a little bit of a flower okay so um let's move on to the next round in each chain three space work the following so we will single crochet i mean i'm catching the stitches underneath okay there we go chain three sorry single crochet half double crochet half double crochet double crochet treble treble and then double crochet, half double crochet, oops, let's do that again, half double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, and slip stitch. Okay, so okay, so this is the repeat pattern. Half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, and then double crochet, half double crochet, and then single crochet. And repeat that around. We slip stitch to the first single crochet which is this one over here okay now that's actually looking a little bit like a flower and then round four working behind the petals slip stitch into the next available stitch from round one okay so we're going to slip stitch into the skipped stitch from from the first round so that's slip stitch right yeah, slip stitch. Okay, so slip stitch, chain three, and then slip stitch into the next available stitch. And then chain three, and then slip stitch, chain three. And then slip stitch, chain three. Slip stitch, chain three. We should have five spaces. So one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so we need to do another one. 
slip stitch in there. Okay, so now we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five. Okay. And then working behind the petals. Okay, so we did that. In each chain space, do the following. Okay, so we repeat the same thing. Okay, so there we go. That is basically our flower done. Um, and then we just slip stitch to the beginning. Oopsie, to the beginning, single crochet. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah. So there's our little flower done. We can snip off this tail end at the back. We don't need that one. And then we can just sew in this other one. And let's snip this off. Yeah. There we go. There is our little flower. So after three attempts on camera, only our second and third attempt was really what we were after. So I'm just going to sew in my tail end here for uh, this first one that I did. Yeah, so I'm just gonna yeah. Um, so there we go. These are our three versions of the flower. Yeah, and this was the one that I did off camera. So we have off camera, first one, second, and third one on camera. So um yeah <laughs> um uh i don't know what happened here clearly something is wrong with the chat gtp because um is this a flower i don't think so but anyway maybe if i did up to seven rounds and maybe you know the increases it would have been like a bit bit more pointier where the increases would be um but no nah. in my books that's not a flower this is a snowflake in my box, but maybe as what ChatGTP mentioned, um, you could put maybe a a little bead or button in the middle to make it a, a flower. I nearly, I nearly said sunflower. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, those are the flowers. Um, shall we maybe have a go at making a motif? And let's see if the second motif would be um, something more than this thing okay so let's move these out the way for a minute put them in my little basket for now yeah so i'm gonna grab my pink yarn again so let me um just see here can you please okay so now um let me ask chat gtp um to generate another pattern for me can you Please, um, give me, give me 
a crochet pattern for a motif okay let's see how this goes so while that's busy generating um let's see worsted weight yarn um any new desired yarn magic ring okay so we're making a magic ring so let's make our magic ring so long while that generates okay so we're gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet okay and then okay so counts as a double crochet work 11 double crochets This looks, this pattern looks like my first flower that I did. Oh no, not the flower, the motif, sorry, the motif. Because it says, work 11 double crochets into the center, which I did to make 12. Two double crochets in each stitch around to make 24. Chain five, skip two, okay, no, it's different. Okay, it's different. I thought it was the same. Okay, so let's make, oh, my little flower. <laughs> okay, so let's make the 11 double crochets. So I'm just going to do 12 because I don't count my chain threes as a double crochet. And then join with the slip stitch to the beginning. Okay, so join the slip stitch. Okay, and then chain three. One, two, three. Counts as first double crochet. You double crochet in the same stitch. So as I said, my double crochet, my chain threes do not count as a stitch. So I'm just going to do two double crochets into the first stitch and into each stitch around. And then we slip stitch to the beginning. Okay, so slip stitch to the beginning. And then chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch. Okay. Let me do that again. So single crochet into the same stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, chain five skip two stitches so one two and then single crochet into the next and repeat from star repeat from star to star around it's funny because with chat gtp like it gives you the instructions but it doesn't put the asterisks before and after the the the, the steps that you need to repeat um and then at the end of the sentence, or the, at the end of the repeat pattern, it says repeat from star to star, but there is no asterisk in the in the repeat pattern, you know. Um, so it's, it's kind of um, confusing sometimes. Um, okay, so it's chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So repeat from star, ending with a chain five and slip stitching to the first. Okay. So slip stitch into the next chain five space. And then chain three counts as first double crochet. And then two double crochets into the same space. Okay, so we are essentially doing three double crochets into each chain five space. Okay. And it doesn't seem like we put any chains between or anything. So we just go straight into um, the next chain 
Cloud Space. Yeah, so you will just uh, double crochet um, three times. Three double crochet, repeat from star to star. Yeah, I feel like we're going to get another ball out of this. Because, uh, yeah, this, there should be maybe more double crochets into the chain, the chain five spaces, so that, so that I could even out, you know? Um, but it seems like we'll be having the same issue. Seems like we'll be having the same issue. Maybe the next round will fix this issue that we're having here. Because the motif is supposed to lay flat. It's not supposed to create like a little bowl per se. Um, okay, so three double crochet and exchange file space repeat from star to star. And again, no asterisks explaining where this beginning or end of that of the instructions are. Okay, so let's try this. So slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, so slip stitch into the next stitch. Um, and into the next two double crochets. What? Okay. Work the following. Chain three. Slip stitch into the same stitch, chain 3, slip stitch into the same stitch, chain 3, slip stitch into the same space, chain 3, slip stitch into the same stitch, chain 3, Slip stitch into the same stitch. What? Okay, and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. One, two. Repeat from star to star. So, chain three. Slip stitch into the same stitch. Chain three. Slip stitch into the same stitch. Chain three, slip stitch into the same stitch, and then what? This is not making any sense whatsoever. You can have multiple motifs and join them together to create larger projects like blankets and scarves. I don't think I'll be able to make a blanket or a scarf out of this. Like, what is this? What is this? This is not going to work. This is not going to work whatsoever. Like, what? what is this? <laughs> okay. I think... I think I'm just going to stop here because, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is not a motif. What is this? Like a bonnet or something? A what is this? Like some sort of cap or something? A little hat for a baby doll? Okay, so the motifs were clearly a fail. But the flowers seem to be a lot more promising. Yeah, so these are the two motifs, and these are the flowers. So the flowers seem a lot more promising than 
they need anything else right now at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chat GTP. Hey, yeah. Uh, you need to fix some things. You need to fix some things. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching watching that. Very interesting with this chat GTP and AI generated stuff and this new technology is insane, but they need to have some improvements. Um, so yeah, I don't think AI can can accurately generate crochet patterns. And um, yeah, they, they need a lot more work. <laughs> They definitely, definitely need a lot more work, but I'm happy. I'm very, very happy with the last outcome of the flower. This is a, this is a crochet pattern. This is a crochet pattern. Even though they didn't explain how to do the magic ring properly, and they didn't wrap the pattern properly, they didn't put the, the asterisks in the right place, they didn't there's a lot that AR needs to do to fix that. But what a cute little flower, hey? Isn't it just adorable? Very sweet, in my honest opinion. So yeah, could be like a little brooch, maybe. Isn't it cute? I could even put it as like a little hair clip. Attach a hair clip to the back of this. Crochet hair clip. I think that should actually be quite cute. Maybe I should turn it into a hair clip. I think it'll be quite cute, don't you think? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And, um, yeah. I mean, it's been so long. It's literally been so long. It's, it's crazy how long it's been. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But... But yeah, um, I just wanted to come out here and say, like, look at this huge, big ass bottle. <laughs> I bought it off Take a Lot about, I think maybe two weeks ago now. And I had been drinking two liters of water a day. And um, it is absolutely crazy um, how much water I've drunk in, in two weeks. And um, this is a whole two liter bottle, it is massive. And. Um, I always had a problem with drinking water, like lots of water, um, especially drinking water from the tap. I didn't like it too much. Um, with, like all the chemicals and stuff they put in the water, um, you know, to clean it, to purify the water. I didn't like drinking water straight out of the tap. And um, I don't always, uh, like, I don't like going to top up my bottle of water all the time. Um, so I did find some other bottles that were like one litre bottles that had from like 7 in the morning to like 12 o'clock midday. And then you have to go back and refill the bottle for the evening, for the afternoon. And I, I don't like, like if I'm at college, I don't like getting up and filling up my water bottle or like, for some odd reason, I've been at this college for like two years, going on for two years now. Um, well, this is my second year at the college, and I've never worked the water dispensary <laughs> or the, the, the urn. And I don't drink, like, tea and coffee at college. I don't bring my own stuff to college. And, um, yeah, I don't like getting water out the taps, and I don't like going to the water dispensary thing. Because <laughs> I just, I don't know how to work it, and um, I'm too embarrassed and shy to ask, so... <laughs> So yeah, I got this. I'm so happy. So it's a two liter bottle. And um, yeah, it's quite handy. So it has from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, it has all of these little goals or like little, little markers for each each two for every two hours. So the first one's good morning um, at 7 a.m. And then 9 o'clock it says hydrate yourself. 11 it says rem remember your goal. And then 1 p.m. keep chugging. And then um, uh, 3 p.m. is feeling awesome. 5 p.m. don't give up. 7 p.m. almost finished. And 9 p.m. you did it. So yeah. I've been wanting to drink water. Like 
I've been wanting to make water like my goal, my new lifestyle. So yeah, I got this and it's such a big help. And I don't even really read these things, but these lines are my markers every day. So yeah, I just wanted to pop that on here and just say, yeah, <laughs> like you guys need to also be drinking water, keeping yourself hydrated, things like that. And um, yeah. All of that good stuff. Okay. But anyways, guys, um, enough rambling on. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching all the crazy stuff that AR that AR has generated. Um, I don't know. This could either be like maybe like a little doll's hat, maybe or maybe like a pot a pot holder. Maybe like a pot holder. Like if you have like little um succulents like if you have like a little pot of a succulent or something actually actually let me grab this this um was laura's um or happy berries one of her um crochet tutorials on her youtube channel was how to create this little succulent flower thing um so let's see if this could Guys, this is so cute. I'm keeping this on here. This fits perfectly. Look at that. Isn't that just cute? Like, look at that. It's like a little pot. Isn't that just cute? It's like a little pot for the... For the little crochet succulent. Isn't that just so cool? I actually love this. I'm going to keep it on here for the rest of its life. I'm going to keep this on here. Isn't that awesome? It's like literally just like a little pot. Like a little pot protector. Not pot protector. Pot holder. It's like a little pot holder. Yeah, isn't that cute? Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, watching me crochet AR-generated things. Um, I don't know what this is still. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, I'm not sure when, but I will get around to crocheting and recording the tutorial for a Minecraft bee. I still need to draw up the pattern and everything like that. And... Um, but yeah, um, I'm glad I'm on holiday, but um, I still I don't think I'll be able to do as much as I had planned um, because my mom, you know, she she isn't able to do everything on her own. You know, she's walking around with a walker um, and uh, we've uh, hired out a wheelchair for like on the weekends or when we're going out to the shops or something. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's been tough. Um, it really has been tough. Um, but, but yeah, so I will try my best to record some tutorials during my three week holiday. Well, it's technically two weeks left now, which is insane. Um, how time goes by. But anyway, um, that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had lots of fun watching me crochet these weird and cool ar generated stuff and um yeah i still definitely don't think ar is intelligent enough for crochet um but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting guys bye